What's up everybody, Tiankum here with Stoyak Quilting. Summer's just around the corner here and it's time to break out our 4th of July fabric. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you make this patriotic star table runner. Let's get started. Let's dive right on into the project. As you can see in front of me, I've already gone ahead and pre-cut most of my fabrics. This piece of fabric right here is 18 inches by width of fabric. This one here is 2.5 by 18 inches. Here 2.5 by 13. 5x5 five five squares and one and a quarter inch strips and you'll need three different colors of your one and a quarter inch strips. I'm going to set everything aside and start working on my strips, my one and a quarter strips. These strips, like I said, are one and a quarter by width of fabric. What we're going to do is I'm going to lay them out in our flags color order, so red, white, and blue. So I got my red strip, my white strip, right here's my blue strip. And I'm going to put right sides together and sew a quarter inch seam all the way down. I have my white and my red strip sewn together. And I'm making sure I'm keeping everything in, in my color order that I like. I'm going to take my blue strip, put it right sides together with my white strip, and sew all the way down. Now that I have my three strips sewn together, I'm going to take this over to the ironing board and just iron everything flat. Now that I have everything ironed, we're going to lay it down on our cutting mat, our strips here, and we're going to take our 6 by 24 inch ruler, and on these rulers there's a 45 degree angle line. What we're going to do is line up this line with the bottom of our strip set that we have here, and we're going to cut off the left side. Now here's a little pro tip to make this go a little bit faster. What we're going to do next is we're going to take our bottom left corner and pull it all the way up to our top right section of our strips here. And we're going to line it up to make sure everything's absolutely flush, that we're not puckering our left corner here. And we're going to just give that a nice little finger press, make sure everything lines up here, pull out our ruler and we're going to cut that same, we're going to cut right along the edge of where we just folded. Just like that, which is going to give us this kind of diamond shape and this is what we need to make this block. I set that aside and we're just going to keep repeating this process of pulling our left corner all the way to the top, finger pressing down, take our ruler, line it up with our top and our bottom of our fabric and cut which then this makes it exactly the same every single time. So I'm going to finish out cutting out, out all my diamonds and we'll be right back. Now that we have all of our diamonds all cut out, it's time to pull out our five by five squares. What we're gonna do is take four of our five by five squares and we're gonna cut them directly in half corner to corner. So I'm going to pull out my six by 24, line it up corner to corner, and cut. I'm gonna do that to the other three that I have here real quick. Now with two more five by five squares, we're gonna cut corner to corner on both sides or on both directions. So I'm gonna cut corner to corner and then once more corner to corner. which then gives me four of these little triangles. Now that we have our white pieces cut, what we're gonna do is separate our diamonds into four, or sorry, into two equal piles, so four and four. So four here and four here. On the first four, what we're going to do is we're gonna take our diamond and put it in this direction and a big half square triangle and put it on the red side towards the top, on the short side of our larger triangle. And then with our small half square triangle, we're gonna set it on the side like so. And we're gonna do this four times. On our other four diamonds, we're going to do the exact opposite. So what I mean by that, 
We're gonna have the red side still facing up. We're gonna take our small triangle and put that at the top and our big triangle and put it at the bottom making essentially a left side and a right side. We're gonna go ahead and sew these all up real quick and we'll be right back. So I got my small piece sewn on, I'm gonna sew on the large piece next. So all of my right sides are done, I'm gonna move on to the left sides. Next, what we have to do is trim up our blocks. And as you can see, I have my left side and my right side. To trim them up, all we're going to do is follow along our strips here, the edge that we cut originally. So I'm gonna line this up with my one and a quarter strip that I had. I'm gonna cut all the way down, just like so. I'm gonna do the same on this side as well, just following along that line. Let me just double check, yep. Just following across, just following along our strip line, cutting everything square to our strips. And then with this side right here, we're not gonna touch it until the very end. So I'm gonna keep trimming up everything. Again, following my strips here. So I'm following my blue strip. I'm gonna cut this all, so it's all square to the blue strip. Same on this side, following all three of my strips now. And leaving this one side. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of my triangles here and we'll be right back. Now that we have both our left and our right sides all trimmed up, all we're going to do is put our left and our right sides together and then sew a quarter inch seam all the way down. What we wanna make sure is that our point right here and our points right here both line up. So as long as we stay really focused and concentrate on keeping those points straight, the whole block's gonna come out perfectly. So I'm gonna put right sides together. And then we're gonna just keep repeating this step. Now it's time to press these open. So here's what it's looking like so far. Now what we need to do is just put right sides together, lining up our points the best we can, and then we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and continue sewing. So here's what the block is looking like, all pressed out. As you can see, the block is a little bit wonky, but we're gonna go ahead and trim all the way around, which will make this block lay completely flat and look real good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch ruler, and on our block, you can see from corner to corner, there's a line all the way across from on both sides. On our ruler, we have that exact same line, and we're gonna line that up with our block underneath. And what we're gonna do is trim this block down to a 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter inch block. So I'm gonna bring this down just like that and trim my two sides. Then I'm gonna spin my block around and I'm gonna do it to the other two sides. Now what we could do here is we could keep making these blocks and make an entire quilt out of it, but to make the table runner, what we're gonna do is set this aside and pull out our other pieces of fabric. As you can see, this is the main body of my fabric. All we're gonna do here is take our blue piece, our two and a half inch blue piece fabric, sew this on right sides together, and then we're gonna iron it out and we're gonna do that to both sides. Now that this is sewn on, I've sewn it on to both sides. 
we're gonna take our block, and as you can see, our block is much smaller than our base here. So what we're going to do is I have two, two and a half inch strips, and I'm gonna to add to each side to extend this out a little bit further. So I'm going to take and put right sides together. And now sew the other piece onto the other side. As you can see, I have a little bit of excess running off my sides. I'm going to just trim that up. And now what we're going to do is sew this onto my table runner here. And to make the table runner, we need two of these blocks, so one on each side. So now that I've sewn this half all together, I'm gonna to repeat the exact same steps to put onto the other side, and then we'll be right back. Now that I've sewn onto both sides, the trick here to, to square everything up is to lay down your block on your left side, right on top of the block on the right side. And then from here, what we're gonna do is just trim off our excess all the way down. I'm gonna take my six and a half by 12 and a half ruler, and we're gonna trim all the way down. So that was the first side. Now I'm gonna repeat that same step to the other side. I'm gonna just flip the whole thing around. So now that we've finished trimming everything up, this is what our row is looking like and it looks great. Now that it's finished, we need to figure out how we would like to have it quilted. We can do walking foot quilting on this like I did on my first one that I showed you at the beginning of the video, or we can do free motion quilting, or we can take it into a long armor to have it finished. Since we have an in-house long armor here in the store, we're gonna take this across the building to her and have her finish it. So if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't be afraid to share these videos with your friends. As always, I'm gonna leave instructions on how to make this in the description below. My name's Tiank, I'm teaching you how to sew like a pro. I'll see you here next week at Soya Quilting. Thank you.